sometimes a shop-bought car just isn't enough. You want something more moving. You want a fingertips message in motion. Show someone you care with an animated antic or a gyrating greeting. Just look at this one with a little sheep jumping over the fence. It'll make a great present for anybody who finds it difficult to sleep. Because they can just watch the sheep going round and round and... Phone. Or how about a party in a box, complete with balloons and streamers? Or my favourite, the fish and ship card, poetry in motion. They are so good, aren't they? And if you fancy making one, then you need to get your fingertips on a sturdy box. And a washing up powder box is perfect. Now, first thing to do is measure the width of your box and find the middle. So, there it is. Make a mark. And then measure up half the width of your box and make another mark. And with a sharp pencil, make a hole like that. Then turn your box over and do the same on the other side. And this is where your spindle is going to go. And the spindle is what makes your boat bob up and down. And that's just made out of a straw, as you can see just there. Now, you want to cut three sides off your box like this, just above the holes that you've made, and then get a pair of compasses and just open them out half the width of your box. And then, on a separate piece of card, just draw a circle like this and cut the circle out. Now you need to cut out another circle, but this time it needs to be slightly smaller and you want to cut it out of acetate. It's going to make this part of your moving card right here. Now acetate is just clear plastic that you can buy from most art and craft shops. And once again, you want to put a hole straight through the middle there and that's where your spindle's going to go. Now it's time to cut out your fish shapes. Now if you like, you could get some dolphin designs from our website. Just click on Top Makes and we'll give you that address at the end of the show. Now you could draw your own fish shapes, but if you decide to do the dolphins, you could do them on some nice shiny cards, just like this. But tin foil would work just as well. Then you want to glue them on, so just put a dab of glue at either end there and just put them around the edge of your acetate. Put another one here, evenly spaced out, and about three should do it. Now, with your circle of card that you cut out a second ago, you want to cut it into a wobbly shape like this. And this is going to be your cog that your spindle turns around. And your boat will move up and down on this part here. So make sure that part isn't too extreme, otherwise your boat will get stuck. Then you can decorate your box however you like. Now you can paint it, or you can use coloured paper like we've done. We've gone for a blue sky with white puffy clouds and a darker blue for the sea. And this wave effect I think looks pretty cool. So let's do the same on our cog. So we get a black marker, and let's do the wave effect all the way round. Now it's time to make the ship. Now you could make this out of corrugated card or just paint a piece of card and give it a wooden effect. Now we've cut out these portholes from tin foil using a hole punch and we've gone round them in black pen and then you just want to get two cocktail sticks and give them some nice little white paper sails and some flags on top. Now if we just pop those onto the back and secure them in place using a piece of sticky tape. There we go. And you get yourself one ship. You are nearly complete. Just a couple of more things. You need to make two cardboard washers. Just cut two circles out of cardboard, make holes in them both, and you're going to stick these to the cogs that you've already made. And these will strengthen the holes. There and there. And now it's time to put it together. Box. Check. Cogs. Check. Straw. Check. What else do we need? Uh, phone, you should never go to sea without the essential safety equipment. Life belt. Very good. Okay, now it's time to put it all together. So let's get our straw, our spindle, and thread it from the back of the box to the front. Then you want to get your wobbly cog first and thread that on. And then you want to get your dolphin cog and thread that on. And then push the straw to the front of the box, leaving an equal distance between the sides of the box and each cog. And then you just want to put a little dab of glue on each cog and the straw there just to hold it all in place. Final added touch is a hinge on the back of your boat. Now about four centimetres in width and make sure it's nice and creased so it will become really floppy. And stick this to the back of your box and let's give it a quick test. So as the cog turns round, the boat should go up and then back down and then back up. Oh, look, hey, that, that works looks brilliant. like a dream. And then you just want to put your little life belt on the front to neaten it all up. There we go. And there it is, the fingertips message in motion. Give it to one of your friends, it's guaranteed to get them in a spin.